So here I am, Supermax prison. Did Congress even know what it was doing? It's keeping me up at night. We survived this nightmare. It was really, really hard and difficult. It has been really amazing to watch the world of documentary open up to a wider audience. The styles have changed, topics have evolved. Documentaries aren't the ones we grew up with. Hi, I'm Amanda Spain. I'm the VP of Longform for MSNBC Films. My job is basically running most of Longform for MSNBC, MSNBC Films. This is a story about how our basic bargain was broken by greed and politics. We air a lot of our documentaries Sunday night at 10 o'clock, and they're always streaming on Peacock. A lot of people used to, when you said documentary, would think boring. As they retreated across the plains of Manassas after the Battle of Bull Run. And while documentaries are educational uh, these days, they're definitely not boring. Well, Mr. Blake's there. Hello. What was the turning point where you realized this is an epic crisis? The American population and the world are watching them in record numbers more than they ever have been before. When I talk to people nowadays, I'm like, oh, what do you like to watch? And a lot of people, one of the first things they'll say is documentaries. That was not the case 10, 15 years ago. I think people are into it. There's the traditional docs. There's your cool music docs. There's your verite docs, which are just to let life happen in front of them. True crime, true horror, comedy docs, which I'm a big fan of. The genre for narrative films is wide, and so now is the genres for documentary film. Can you share tea with me? Yeah. Sure. Salute. I think if you're going to make a documentary, you better really believe in the subject matter because I think if you don't, it'll come through in the story you're telling. You have to have endurance. Most documentary films in the independent world take about five to six years to make and that's just the reality. We're not here to judge anything. We're here to listen to the story and to portray you the way you want to be portrayed. Most everybody has a camera in their hands with their phone. So you can start filming whatever you're finding interesting. Well, someone got stopped. Yeah, right. They wanted to try to clean it up before you guys got you. And, you know, doing interviews with the people that you find compelling. Te da una cara a lo que muchos distorsionan. Un lugar que nadie toma en cuenta lo hizo. Editing a documentary is the hardest part because you have to understand the footage you have and the story you're going to tell. Make friends with someone who's really good with editing software and who knows how to edit. Making smaller, shorter films, I think it's easier to do. It can help you develop your story skills and your editing skills and your interview skills. This is difficult. <sighs> it's got to be something you're passionate about. It has to be something that you have access to. and something that will keep you going in the face of a lot of resistance to uh, like a lot of obstacles. You have to keep going and keep learning. I think it's got to be something that you care about so much that no matter how hard it gets, you feel that if you do not finish this film, then your life is pointless. The world is a harsh place and the stock market was just the purest form of YOLO. It's got to almost feel that desperate for you because I think when you're making your first film, if it doesn't, why would you finish it? It's so hard. I just finished talking with Durbin and I have a pretty big update. But if you just want to tell really good stories about really compelling things and really help tell the world and grow empathy and sympathy in the world, I think this is a really good place for you. There's no right way to become a documentary filmmaker. You don't have to go to college. I don't think you need to come from any type of school to be able to make a documentary. I'm actually kind of shy and can be afraid to talk to people. But when I do a project, I have to explain. The artists who make these films, they have more opportunity and more spaces and more places to put their films. We still need to do better about making sure the, the stories are being told with more diverse voices about more diverse subjects. Everyone's life is interesting. Everyone's had tragedy. Everyone's had triumph. And if the right filmmaker makes it, they will make it compelling. Three, two, one, one. <laughs>